joined by Tapelo Mohapi, member of Abathali Basim Jondolo, who speaks to us now. Uh, Tapelo, good evening. Thanks again for speaking to us. Uh, a few days ago, we, we had conversations uh, around what's happened with your membership. The president has just now issued a state of disaster and certainly uh, an action plan in, in, in many regards. Uh, your immediate reaction to that? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Hugo. Uh, good evening once again. Uh, we were waiting in anticipation of what the president is going to say. Um, we are happy with the plan ahead, uh, but we know for a fact that the vultures in the Etsigoni municipalities uh, in, uh, are waiting. Mm. Um, already there's circulations uh, around the branches of the AMC that nothing will take place uh, without the political heads and branches, but we know what they are capable of. Um, the, the 500 billion rand that was announced prior to the, um, I mean, to actually curb the, the coronavirus um, was announced in this way, and the president was adamant that there was no corruption that was going to take place, and that there were measures that was going to be put in place. But a uh, few weeks later, he announced that there were people who have mismanaged mm. um, some of the funds. So. Uh, we hope this time around that we would not be talking about this. And we are calling on everyone, a politician, to at least have some moral values. Don't take something. People have died. People have lost their lives. People have lost their possession. Um, I mean, corruption uh, is not allowed. But particularly in such uh, instances, please, um, we are calling on, on those to have some moral values, uh, to not take something that is meant to assist those on the ground. Um, uh, the president spoke about humanitarian relief as the first focus. Mm. He spoke about rebuilding um, and he spoke about the reconstruction. So we are very happy the fact that um, right now people need food, people need water. There was a, a burst in the uh, infrastructure. People are unable to access water, clean water at the moment. Uh, the president has spoken about that uh, as the main as the main thing on that on the topic. So we are happy how he actually made everything, um, you know, the list that he has. But uh, the unfortunate part is that we know for a fact that it would not reach the people on the ground unless the national government takes over uh, everything. Uh, but I know that already there are announcements that uh, those who are in at branch level, who are members of the AMC, who are political heads mm. as councillors, are already complaining that if they are left out, not, nothing will come to the branches without through going through them. Something else that the president mentioned was the construction of, of houses uh, because the, the province uh, of KZN has a vast tracts of land. Uh, are you happy about this? What is your reaction to it? Uh, are your mem will your members be included in when those houses are constructed and become available? Yes. Um, one of the mistakes that governments make is um, actually speaking about the people without the people themselves. Mm. And we hope that in this particular case, it won't be the same. That um, the people who are affected by floods, the people who are living in um, flood areas, risk areas, uh, those who are living along the river banks, um, that um, they are communicated, engaged uh, properly. Because uh, one of the major reasons why people live uh, under these human conditions mm. is because they want to be closer to better opportunities and amenities. And when you remove them 20 kilometers away from there without having engaged them on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on those facts and you not, not understanding the reasons why they have occupied their, those, people are bound to come back in those risk areas because uh, they want to be closer to these uh, opportunities. Uh, so um, we, we, we hope that the states uh, in uh, relocating people, in providing uh, land for the people, which is, which is what we support, uh, because we've always been calling uh, that, that the land must be uh, provided. There's a lot of vacant land that needs to be provided to people who are living in formal settlements. Um, I mean, we are happy that the president has announced that, but we are hoping that um, people are going to be engaged properly, meaningfully, and understanding um, why people in the first place have occupied land that are along the river banks, rather than to just relocate people to, uh, 50 kilometers away from uh, the better opportunities. Now, in speaking to your membership, uh, I, I'd imagine that post this period, uh, many of them will start reconstructing uh, their homes that have been washed away, because I know uh, a certain a number of them had those homes uh, along the river banks. Are they likely to, to rebuild in those areas? Or has this in many ways uh, been a lesson learnt 
uh, of the possible devastation that can occur and are they likely to, to occupy uh, land allocated or uh, if should land not be allocated certainly to, to, to safer areas? I think um, the, 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 the issue of land um, that the president has addressed today um, must be an urgent issue mm. uh, because people need roof over their head immediately. Uh, but it must be land that is accessible for them to actually be able to still go um, and, and, I mean, to their work or place so that they can, um, in the, the economy, uh, could, could continue to build. These are working class people as well who are building the economy in this country, and they should be uh, afforded that opportunity. And we are hoping that in all of this, um, um, the dignity of the people, the poorest of the poor, is recognized. In other words, you don't do things without engaging people on the ground, that you speak to the people and you, and there's a, a mutual understanding but to those who are going to be relocated um, and, of course, with, with government, rather than government coming and saying that, well, you are living in a high-risk area, therefore we are moving you 20 kilometers away from the city, um, and then people start starving again and come back to these particular areas. And there must be yeah. means that are made for people not to uh, go back to these areas as well, because these areas become vacant and people come back and occupy them uh, out of desperation because they want to be closer to the places of work. Tabela Bahabi, going to gonna have to thank you for, for your time and appreciate uh, you speaking with us. And he's a member of Abathali Basim Jondolo speaking to us. Again, reaction following the president's national state of disaster announcement. You're watching news.